Hi guys, Freddie here again from Easy Screens. We're out on a job today and we're just fitting up our retractable fly screen for the smaller size door, such as this one here. For this, for this size door, we do a single cassette retracting screen that pulls from one side. It can either be uh, the left or right, and it's suitable for the width measurement of 1.5. So this is our door we're going to fit today. Here's the product. Let's get stuck into it and have a look. So when measuring uh, for your screen, where do you measure? I'll just, um, we just made a little short video here to show you how to do it. So um, you've got your door, it's on one side of the door frame, you've got the stopper in the middle, and this is the section here you want to take your measurements for your screen cutting. So obviously with the width, you want to measure this left to right width here at the top and also at the bottom, because you know not all door frames are perfectly square. And the same thing with the height, you want to measure from this point down all the way to the bottom here. And the same, you want to do that left and right. Once again, because it might not be perfectly square. So once you've done your measurements there, you're ready to either supply them to us to cut or your dealer to cut, or uh, cut yourself. Thanks, John. Okay, in your pack of goodies, we've added this new Easy Screen slow motion device. What this does, it uh, prevents the screens opening really fast and slapping and banging and it allows it to open slowly. So we'll take a look, because you have to actually install this to yourself as it is an upgrade we've done. So pretty much you take the cap off, uh, and the one you take off the, is the blank one. So one side will have like the Allen key fitting to adjust the tension, and this side, as we can see here, has the blank. So it's just a matter of undoing the screws for that, popping it off, placing that there. You also pull out the plastic bush, little cap, now that sits back onto this, this here, and then this Allen key inserts into the Allen key slot, such as that, and then you hold them together and there's a little fastener goes in there and secures it. So it's just a matter of putting that in there, starting that off, grabbing a drill, nice and secure. And then this locating pin that's on here goes into the groove, then you line this cap back up and do it all up. Free fasten those and you've got your slow motion device fitted. Beautiful. Okay, now this kit here is one that we prepared in store for a customer. So if you haven't got a drop saw or you're not 100% confident in cutting the product up yourself, uh, we can cut it for you and um, you'll have the product like this and it's just a matter of fitting it up. So let's have a look at um, what's in the kit for your single uh, single cassette sided screen. Um, it's pretty much the same as the double, except obviously you get one cassette. And on the other side, what the what the door actually attaches to is a magnetic strip. This one here fastens to the other side of the frame. Now, with being it, it's a magnet that shuts it. Uh, magnets, you know, pull together, but they also repel. So you have to make sure that you line the magnet up the right way by switching this either one way or the other. So if we have a look at it, click it on there, and you see that's sitting perfectly, well, actually no, see how that's pushing it away to one side? So uh, that's wrong, so if we just take that, flip it around, around 180 degrees, and then we have a look, and again, it sits perfectly in the middle like that. So that's the correct way, and the correct, um, direction that you want this this strip so just remember that once you've got it um, of course you got your top and bottom tracks and you have a bag of goodies uh, which we went through in another video and for sure if you're watching this video and it's the first video of ours you've watched and you want to know about cutting please watch our video on the double track screen that goes through the entire process there so the first step is we're going to fasten this cassette into one side of this door frame obviously this door the handle is on the right hand side so we'll probably want to put the cassette on the left hand side here. Now a little trick that I'll show you, it's a bit easier to illustrate when it's out of the frame, but once this is in, we're going to slide the top track in, and that pretty much, that little plastic lug there, has to go into this slot here. So if you picture this going over that, and sliding in, oh, got my finger stuck. And then inside the cassette. So the top track goes inside the cassette, over the plastic, lug at the top and it should be just like that when it's in the frame. So I'll just do it out here to show you how easy and how it should look. Uh, I'll go ahead now and just um, fasten this one up. 
All right, so we're putting it here on the left-hand side of this frame. So it's pretty simple, eh? just one screw in the top and one screw in the bottom. and we'll do the bottom. Okay, so in your bag of goodies, you have little track wheels. Now it's important with this wheel, um, I did it at first, I always put this up the top, but that stem actually goes down the bottom. So if we had to take a look how it goes in, before you put any of the tracks uh, top and bottom in, simply pull it out, and you slide it in the slot there, it's making sure that that stem is on the bottom. So with the single door, the easiest way to uh, assemble it uh, is to put the top and bottom tracks in first because the, the side the side rail, the strip is a bit thin and you can try and hold it together with that and probably fall out. So we'll put that in sort of as a last step. So first, just the bottom track here. Just pull the door out slightly. Spread that in, and it's the same process that we mentioned before. That plastic glove has to go over that, and then inside the cassette. This is the probably the hardest, trickiest thing you have to do, but that, that was pretty easy. So we've got the bottom track in. We're now ready to do the top track, which is the wider one. But what I'll do to make it a bit easier, I'll rest this side, the magnetic strip, in that bottom track, so it sits perfectly in like that. Of course, making sure we have that magnet around the right way, so it's not repelling, as we, we, we touched on the beginning of the video. So now the top, slide that in, sits over that lug, and then in cassette, and then we pull this end out, we place it in where it should sit, and simply push it in. So that's that, we just put some fasteners in there, hold it all in, job's almost done. In your pack you have this uh, special tool, uh, you might wonder what it's for, but it's simply for holding the screw uh, when you're putting it in the track to fasten it. So I'll show you now, simply push it up where you want to put the screw. So I'm going to put a couple in this top row, and you thread the screw in here. Simple as that. So now we just fasten this magnetic strip down. We usually use uh, approximately four fasteners, depending on the height of your door. But in this case, probably every 400. So one here, one here, one here, and one down a bit lower. So we're just going to put that in. Now on on one side of the channeling, there'll be a bigger groove, and that's where you want to put the screw. So you see on this line here is where we're going to be fixing it now. And now, just a couple of fasteners in the bottom track, using the same tool. Just pop them in. One. And number two. And then it's the last step, is to install these little plastic end caps. So they go on the top and bottom of the cassette. And I've just got some locating pins. So that's one. And that's two. A single sided easy screen. Beautiful, nice and easy to use. And the new slow motion device that we've installed. Awesome. Don't forget to check out www.easyscreens.com.au and thanks for watching.